In this Columbia backyard, plants are dripping with cicadas. Others are still digging their way out of the ground. Some are crawling up the side of the house and hanging out all over the fence. And in the treetops, the big boys are putting on a show for the girls. The day's already warm enough in the treetops for the cicadas to be up there rocking out. So yeah, it's starting early. And if an airplane flies overhead or you're using the lawnmower, you're going to hear the cicadas get even louder. It's because the males think that that's another male and they're going to compete to get the female's attention. It may be cicada palooza in your backyard, but they haven't come out everywhere. And entomologist Dr. Michael Ralph says cicada envy is a real thing. In places like Westminster or Western Maryland, where it's a little bit colder and all it takes is a few degrees, they're going to be coming. And for wildlife, it's like an all you can eat buffet. This red tailed hawk has been busy feeding its new family a steady cicada diet. Birds in particular, squirrels, raccoons, foxes have been excavating lawns. Um, reptiles will eat these, turtles, amphibians, so everything's going to want to eat a cicada. And we asked Dr. Ralp about the zombie cicada, and it's even worse than you think because before it loses the lower half of its body, it loses its mind, infected with a fungus called Massospora. It causes the male cicada to mimic the flicking sound of the female cicada, thereby attracting other males who attempt to mate with him, further spreading the Massospora through the cicada population. Boom. And like the cicadas, that's something to chew on. Jennifer Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.